So let's just go over the things that you have to do in order to set up for recording inside of the application. And then we'll go ahead and record some stuff using the multi-take editor. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. The first thing is that you want to make sure over in the right pane in the recording tab. And we have to make sure that we're first going to choose the correct track. We're going to choose VO as the track that we're going to record to. And the input device here, which is the blue snowball, um, you might also want to go ahead and check in your system preferences to make sure that there's a match there. So under sound here, under input, blue snowball, and you'll see that you have levels there. You can actually increase or decrease the input volume for that. Then I'm going to go over here and choose whether or not I want to record stereo or mono. In this case, I'm going to record a stereo file. I'm also going to actually decide what channel I want to actually record that to. Okay, so I can just click and then let go and choose what channel I want to actually record that to. And you can see over here under preferences, also under the recording tab here, that you can choose the channels here, okay? In terms of monitoring, when you're monitoring your sound, this is a little tricky here. If you want to actually monitor using headphones, then that's fine. But if you actually have speakers and you're using those as your monitors, you have to be really, really careful because if you have a microphone there, you can create a feedback loop and that's really messy. In terms of configuring your device, sometimes you may need to click on configure device and access your audio MIDI setup, which is part of your OS, to make sure that, for instance, your sample rate matches your project. That's about it in terms of the recording tab. Now over here, we have our VO track here, and this is actually going to set our input or our volume here. And the next thing that you want to do is you actually want to click on the record or arm for recording button. And that's actually going to go ahead and arm that track for recording. And you'll see that that's happening there. Now this is just your playback volume here. It's not actually setting your input volume for your track, but you can see here that we have levels here. And depending on how close or how far away I am from the mic, depends on what kind of levels I have here. Of course, you know, setting it in your sound control panel is going to have an effect on that also. Okay, so we've actually set up the mic now with our levels here, also for recording. And what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm going to set a cycle region. So I'm just going to go up here and click a little bit before where I want to actually start my voiceover. And I'm just going to bring that to the end of the project. And as soon as I'm ready, I'm going to hit the record button down here in the transport controls. And then it's going to actually start recording. Now let's just go ahead here and you'll see, well actually I'm going to leave my volume the way it is. I'll leave that down there so it's not too loud. I'm going to start recording. Here it comes. Party's about to get started. Oh, yeah. Okay, here comes the party. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to stop playback there. Now, the one thing I noticed here is that while I was doing this, I actually should have created my cycle region a little bit earlier. So I'm actually going to bring that back here. And I also have so many things going on here that's really hard to hear what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click and delete the voiceover recording I did already. Hit return to go back to the beginning of the change cycle region there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo the roller derby track here. So that's the only thing I'm listening to while I'm going. Then actually I'll also turn on and solo the earthquake with debris so I can hear that. And then we're going to go ahead and record again. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah! Let's get the party started. Uh, uh, here it comes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Party time! Let's get the party started.